This is a Benato Antars 760. This is a 2007 boat and the big news with these is just how incredibly practical they are. They're a really sensible motorboat. Now it may not be the sexiest boat you've ever seen but in terms of practicality they're brilliant and in fact I think there's a certain style to the sheer functionality of it. It's a bit like a Land Rover isn't it you know where they're not a sleek vehicle but somehow they've got a stance that kind of just looks good in its own right. So we're going to do a tour on this one. I'm going to show you what this is all about. These are super duper popular and uh, in fact this one came up for sale with one marine down in Torquay. Uh, they put it up for sale and 24 hours later it was gone. So um, they might do a film of it before it actually physically goes but yeah these are one of those boats that people just like and buy and uh, and they're, they're good news they're a really good news boat we'll start right here at the back we've got the bathing platform on this one as you can see there's also a transom door you can just see it over there i'm not going to lean too far much further over <laughs> interestingly this one's got a life raft on it as well i don't have to see that on this size of boat and i guess that kind of points to the practicality someone who's bought this with the intention of really using it and going places in it so that's good um, we'll take a step on board and i think what we will do is have a trundle around the outside first of all now you've got pretty decent side decks for a boat of this size i say she's about seven and a half meters being a 760 but it's an easy boat to walk around and you don't often find these raised bulwarks we talk about these when we look at bigger boats sort of you know bigger princesses and so on don't often find them on this size of boat now you come right up here to the bow a great big electric anchor winch on this one um, and then the anchor chain locker is there next to it like so um, but the other thing that you have up here there we go is this nice little seat great place to sit if you're just trundling gently down the coast that's lovely sit and look out for dolphins and this walkway goes all the way around as you can see so the whole boat is really accessible hatch there over the cabin we'll see that from the inside in a moment of course this is quite interesting this owner's put this netting on this is good news if you've got small children and they're running around you don't have to worry about them tripping and going in between because that will keep them in the boat so that's good news I don't know whether that's why this one's got it but from that point of view they are excellent We'll come back here, that little flying saucer on the top, that is a television aerial. It's omnidirectional, that's why it's circular. Uh, and that's a nav light next to it there as well. And then we've got the canopy back here. Now this will all come off, of course, but most of the time, most people run with this up and they just take the sides and the back out. So you've got it open, but you've got a bit of protection overhead and it just makes life a little bit easier. But if you want to fold it away, you can do. There's that transom door that I mentioned on the outside. You've got quite a decent sized cockpit area here. There's a seat at the back. They keep these fairly open because they're very, very popular for fishing. And in fact, you'll see around the place things like these rod holders here. Um, so these are just to drop a fishing rod into. I say the fishing is very much uh, the thought process when they brought this one out or just practical boating generally. And um, you can, of course, if you want to put more seating in, you could have it made and put it in, but that's how they come as standard. Now, if we head on to the inside, you've got a simple sliding door. So again, when you come down to the boat, it's really easy just to take these side bits out, slide the door open, and you're pretty much ready to go. And in fact, you'll notice it's got these massive sliding windows. You can see one there, and there's another one over on this side. So you can really open this up, although it is very much a wheelhouse boat, you know, you're inside when you're driving it. With those open, you get a lot of air through um, and it keeps it all nice and cool. So again, all nice practical thinking. If we head on to the interior then, you've got this little dinette area so you can sit here and have something to eat or relax of an evening. Um, and in fact, you can drop that table down and make that into a bed and it looks quite short, but there is also a panel here that you can lift out. You can see it just there and it slots in. You see there's a ledge there and that means that you could have the bed the whole length of that and then what you've got ahead of it this area here is designed the reason they've not put this right up against that um, bulkhead there is because this is designed so that you can come into here and you can stand here use it as a leaning post when you're underway somebody can stand here chat to the helms person keep a watch out and it's just a nice place to be the visibility in this is brilliant because you've got these huge great big deep windows and very narrow mullions as well everywhere and it's got the curtain there but you can see how narrow that is you've got the great big things to look around that's that sliding section you just undo that and slide it it's all dead simple and actually great visibility all the way around 
Then over on this side, there is the galley area. So that has got, um, that lifts up like that. There's a sink underneath this one. The reason they put these lids on is so you can use it as a chopping board or something like that. And then there's a gas hob underneath there, like so. And then underneath that, you have got big drawers and storage like so. Again, all really, really practical. Helm position is over here. This is interesting, look at this. <laughs> I've not seen that before. That's so you can go from lock to lock nice and quickly. I suspect that's not original. I suspect an owner has put that one on there. Um, and also, this ring behind here, I'm pretty sure I'm right in saying that that is so that you can engage an autopilot. Um, and uh, you've got the throttle down here, of course, and then you've also got your instrumentation up here. It's got some quite nice instrumentation on here by the look of it, actually. So it's got a big multifunction display. Yeah, there we go, autopilot. So that is, if you're on a long passage, you can hit the auto button and that will hold the boat on a course. Um, this has really been set up, I think, by somebody that does use this boat for going places in it. Definitely got that feel to it. Things like an autopilot and a life raft you wouldn't often find on this side of the boat. Uh, what else have we got? Bow thruster on here as well. Very, very useful on a shaft drive boat because um, they can be a bit of a challenge to manoeuvre, but with a bow thruster it makes life much, much easier. There's a VHF radio up here and there's a TV up here as well. So if you're sat here of an evening and you want to watch a bit of TV, you can do. Let's drop that one back down before I forget. This, again, this is what you call simple engineering. This is held up by this spring. And if you want to put it down, you just bend the spring and it drops down like that, lift it back up. And when it goes rigid, that now, you can see, is really solid. It's just the simplest engineering in the world, isn't it? There we go. OK, let's head on forward and we'll drop down to the lower deck. So there's a couple of steps down and then down here is another seating area or sleeping area. And what you have is basically it's laid out like two single beds. So you'd have your head at this end and your feet down there. But you'll see that there's this infill. So this section here and this cushion that goes on it means that you can drop that into here. You can see there's a ledge that goes around. Pop that in there and then you've got a great big double bed and it really is actually a pretty decent size. It must be the best part of six foot across here. Uh, obviously narrows as it goes forward so hence your head at this end. So that is, um, that is your sleeping arrangements up there and then that cushion there is the infill that goes onto the table so that you can make that into a sleeping area as well. You've got a hatch overhead that's the one that we saw on the outside, so that opens for a bit of ventilation if you want it. That's the instruction books in there, all the books come in that little plastic case. And then if we come on round here, this is storage, so you've got some shelves down here, and then that one there is more shelving down inside. And this is interesting because this one here looks like a cupboard, but actually this is access to a lot of the engineering systems. I don't know how well we can see that. Not very well at all because it's dark. Hang on, let me get my phone. There we go. So, um, yeah, that just gives you access to, uh, to some of the engineering bits and pieces in there. Turn that back off or I lose the battery. And then the other thing that we have down here is the fridge. And that's built into that bulkhead like so. Also here is... Uh, the stereo and then there's a switch panel there for things like the pumps and um, navigation equipment all that kind of thing and the final thing to look at down here then is this which is toilet again all very practical there is a shower that will pull out of there like so and the sink of course and there you go. Now, as I say, you've got to remember, this is a seven and a half metre boat. And so to get all this into it, and they've done it by simply making it dead practical and very upright. The styling of this lends itself to the space inside. This, in case you're wondering, is a curtain. So you can curtain this area off across there. So again, if you've got people sleeping up on the uh, upper level up here on the main deck, then you have got a bit of privacy there. 
So the last thing to talk about then really is the engine. And so what we'll do to get to that, we will it's got some lino on the floor here again really really practical rather than carpet so that just rolls out of the way so we can get to the catch I'll release that one and then i'll come to the back slip my shoes back on this is exactly the same little catch underneath here there we go and that opens up like that. And what we have under here is a Nanny 200 horsepower diesel. Now again, I mentioned the simplicity of this. So that is a nice, simple diesel engine, but it's also shaft drive. You can see the shaft coming out of the back of the engine there. So it's engine gearbox shaft. There's no out drive, and therefore there's an awful lot less to maintain and an awful lot less to go wrong. The slight disadvantage with the shaft is that they tend to be a little bit harder to manoeuvre. Well, that bow thrust obviously helps with that. Um, and they're not as sporty to drive. They don't, they don't respond to the helm as fast as a, an outdrive boat in terms of changing direction. But the thing is, this is unashamedly not a sports boat. It's not designed to go out and hurl it around corners and pretend you're driving a speedboat in my vice. It's the kind of boat you go out and set your autopilot and just cover some distance. And so for that, it's brilliant. As I say, from a maintenance point of view, it's just a lot less to go wrong, a lot less to maintain, a lot less to throw money at. And it suits the ethos of this boat. I've done that really badly. <laughs> ah, and that's why. There we go. I'll edit that out later. And it suits the ethos of this boat brilliantly. The only thing I can show you is back underneath here. Now, again, if this was an outdrive boat, then the engine would be back under the floor here. It's not, we just saw it under the floor there. So what do we have under here? There we go, a massive storage locker. So that fellow there is the fuel tank. And then this is all for storage along here. And again, it's very much about the practical ethos of the boat. You can get, I don't know, maybe some inflatable paddle boards in there, or you get your fishing gear in there, or whatever you want, and keeps it all out of the cabin. They are a brilliant little boat. As I say, it's not a sports boat. It's not a flash go faster machine. It's just designed for somebody who just simply wants to go boating. And for that, it's ideal. They're not expensive, they're very practical. They're as cheap to run and to maintain as anything with a motor is likely to be. And yeah, great little boat. So there we go, huge thanks to One Marine. As I say, I think they've already sold this one, but do check their website, you never know. Nothing's ever sold to the money's in. And that's about the size of it, really. Thanks to you guys for watching, as ever, and we'll catch you on another one of these very soon. Take care, bye-bye.